Welcome back to Blender Frenzy. I'm Justin, back with you to show you another uh, workflow on how to cut your footage using Blender's video sequence editor. Uh, so just going to dive right in here. I'm not going to show all the controls and all of that stuff. This is just for demonstration purposes on the whole workflow. So if you need to see the navigation controls and the, the shortcuts and all of that, go watch some of my other videos. In workflow one and two, basically what you would do is come over, find where you want your first cut, hover your mouse over to the right, press K, and then you would uh, either come over here and press K and delete, or you could do something like this where you grab the handles and you can actually, instead of grabbing both of these like that, you can uh, press control and hold control and then select the first one and as long as these two are lined up it will select both of them if this is off uh, it won't so they have to be perfectly lined up so let's undo that okay so select both of these and then find our next cut so hover our mouse over here k for cut and then g to grab and move and then, and then we would just keep going and we would do cut and then G to grab and move. And we would wait till we're done all the way at the end. And then we'd come over here and then we'd backspace. Okay. Actually, that is not the way I like to do things. Um, I actually, if I'm not keeping anything, uh, like in workflow two that I showed you where we were keeping stuff for the end for like, uh, outtakes or something like that, then, um, then I do. Uh, use workflow number two, but this one is the one I use the most when I'm not really, I know I'm not going to keep anything and I just want a quick, a fast edit. So I just, I actually zoom in here and I just, um, I edit as I go, basically. I don't make cuts and then backspace and then tweak them. I do all of that at the same time. So um, basically what I mean is I'll cut here and then I know, let's see, I want to come back in over here. So I'm going to press G to grab and I'm going to come back in over here and then since my playhead is already over here I just hit backspace and then because it loses that audio there's a bug in Blender 2.8 where you if you backspace you lose that audio because it thinks it's still over here just press just hide your audio and then unhide it again and then now you should be able to hear your audio um, so that's what I do. And and that way I can then test. So page up into Blender and cache that in a little bit. Now I want to, I'll test it into Blender and line it up. And I say, I like that. Okay. And then I go to the next one. Okay. And I cut. And again, make sure your mouse is over here. If your mouse is on this side, it will select these instead. Um, so then let's see, I want uh, to come in over here. Well, in order. Okay, so right before I say well, let's say, so I'll do sh press press and hold shift S to snap. And now I can't just backspace here because my cursor is here. So move my cursor back, backspace, hide, unhide. Oh. And cache that in a little bit here. And then let's test that out. Well, in order to okay. say I like that, okay, and then I just keep going. So this is how I like to do that. Um, if I need to, if I need to adjust anything, let's say I didn't like this, let's say I wanted to get rid of the well, um, then I would just grab this, get that, and then grab this and move that over. Or maybe I needed to extend this out, so then I would just grab this, move that over, and then grab these and um, grab those and snap those to those there. Um, I can also do that all at the same time instead of uh, moving these first and then snapping these uh, by if I select have these two selected if I shift select the handles so now the handles are the only thing that's that are going to move on these two strips but the whole entire strip is going to move here so I'm moving those whole strips but I'm extending those handles out or in just like that and so then I'll find the where I where I like that adjust that, then I'd go back and I'd test, and I'd try to cache this in just a little bit here, um, right over that cut, because otherwise it'll hang. So as long as that's cached a little bit, then it's really smooth. And then I can uh, just keep going. So then basically what I like to do is, okay, I know I'm gonna cut here, and let's say I found some claps or something, because I like to clap to indicate where I'm 
cutting um because you can see them the spikes so I, I look at look for the audio that's what i'm my visual cues are the audio spikes so then um then I, let's say there's a spike here then i'll come here i'm like okay i know i need to cut all of this out um or actually uh since i can see it in our frame here uh just select these and i know i need to cut all this out so i'll just press g to grab and then do that and backspace hide unhide you will learn and then we're golden we're gonna cache a little bit of that in just around that cut and then we How press play you will learn boom the best just like that and the reason i like to do that is because i don't want to go back over my work too many times because i will already go back over it and double check it anyway um but this way i know that i don't have to go back over every single cut if i'm already making a cut here like this now I'm already here. Now I could just keep going on and that would save me some time right here, but I would have to then go back and try to um, try to mess with this cut. So I like to get it all done just while I'm at the cut itself. So uh, come back over here, backspace, hide, unhide, and then I can listen to it, I can test it out, and then um, make the proper adjustments that I might need. So like that and then you know and then when i'm all the way done uh, i don't have to worry about going over each and every single cut i'll play through the whole thing once more um just to make sure i didn't miss anything or make sure uh, maybe i've changed my mind about something and i can i can adjust it there so that is the third workflow that you can use to cut your videos in Blender's video sequence editor. Um, and all of these cuts that I've shown, um, I've actually used in my own projects. Now, maybe you have your own workflow. Um, and if you do, uh, I'd love to hear what, what your workflow is, if, if it's something different. If, uh, if you like to cut a certain way or if you like to... Um, you know, navigate the, the the video sequence editor a certain way. I, I'm I'm open to uh, lots of different suggestions, and um, you know, uh, what works for one person might not work for another person. It just really all depends on your needs. So um, I hope that helps, and I hope that gives you some inspiration. And uh, yeah, so happy editing.